Good morning, viewers. I would like to thank my subscribers and, and all viewers for watching my videos. Uh, I've got a lot of synthetic material here to show you today. This is all synthetic. Uh, there's some pieces of yag in here. Uh, this is cubic zirconia. And some of these pieces are uh, synthetic spinel. This is a synthetic sapphire piece, corundum. Some more uh, cubic zirconia here, but uh, what I think I'm going to cut today is this piece of uh, yag, nice pink yag. This was sent to me by uh, a generous faceter here in the United States. And it's got a nice color and uh, would make a very beautiful stone probably. So this is the one I'm going to cut today. And uh, this is the design I've decided to cut. See if I can get it to where you can read the, the print. It's a Sunrise Horizon design. It's good for uh, a refractive index range of 1.5 to 1.8, so it'll, it'll be good for YAG. Okay, that's what it looks like. And, uh, I will grind a flat spot on the stones because it, it's completely round. So I want to grind a little flat spot on it so I can attach a dop stick. Here I've got the uh, stone dopped properly because I'm using the keyed dops. I've got to orient the rectangular piece perfectly across so uh, or else it wouldn't be correctly when I put it into the machine it wouldn't uh, be the right way to, to start to cut. So I wouldn't want the piece of rough to be turned upside down like this that would be completely wrong so that's the way I've got to do it just right here so I'm ready to uh, start cutting I've adjusted my angle setting to 41 degrees I've zeroed out my dial indicator. Stopping on zero. That's my depth of cut. Setting my uh, index at 96. I mean, 6, not 96. Now I've got to lower, lower the mast, the head, till I start to contact. All right, I'm ready to start cutting.
here I'm pre-polishing the stone. And what I've used is a zinc lap by Gearloose. Zinc Plus lap it's called. I <clears throat> use this 3000 grit pandemonium paste. For the final polishing, I'm using 50,000 diamond compound on a tin lap. Finish the pavilion polishing and I'm ready to transfer the stone. The stone transfer is now complete. Once the epoxy glue dries, in 24 hours I'll uh, start cutting the crown of the stone. I started uh, fastening the crown here. Got my angle set at 43.1 degrees. I'm using a 600 grit lap. Working on the fourth set of crown facets now. The material is easy to work with. Uh, I'm not having any problems. finished cutting all of the crown facets with the 600 lap so next I'll start pre-polishing with 3000 Right, I'm pre-polishing with the 3000 lap. working on the pre-polish and uh, this is YAG. It has a hardness of around eight and a half on the Mo scale and I wasn't doing, uh, the progress wasn't good with the lightning lap 
3000 disc. And being this is a hard stone, I've changed to a Zinc Plus lap by Gear Loose. And I'm going to use the uh, 3000 diamond grit paste. And this is uh, pandemonium paste. This is an aggressive uh, zinc lap and uh, I should get better results than I was with the lightning lap. I find that the lightning lap tends, tends to uh, slow down its cutting action after a while, which is it's normal and it, they can be sharpened, I understand. But uh, I need results today and uh, I'm just going to use this zinc lap because I know it will cut very quickly. Tropical Storm Nestor is hitting us right now. pre-polishing. Next I use 50,000 diamond on a tin lap and do the final polishing. Okay, I've completely polished the crown and I'm going to start cutting the table. I finished the gemstone and I'm going to remove it from the dop stick and I'm going to heat it with the alcohol lamp. Okay, here we have the stone finished. I would say it's a five or six carat stone. We'll check it. It's a five carat stone. sent me this piece of yag. Thanks very much John. This is really a nice stone.